हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी माहौर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर जुअलॉजी श्री सांवलिया जी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज मनफिया चित्तौड़ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पॉपुलेशन दैट इज पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ एंड पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ कर्व्स पॉपुलेशन आर डायनेमिक और यू कैन से it is a changing entities it is not a static a static body it is a changing entities so changes in the population size with respect to time is known as population dynamics the fundamental aspect of population dynamic is population growth population growth can be indicated by the changes in the population densities in terms of time what is population density population density of an area is a number of person per number of unit area in a region or we can say population density is equal to number of person upon number of unit areas in a region so population density of an area depends upon four basic process that is birth rate death rate immigration and emigration here you can say birth rate death death rate immigration and emigration the population shows positive growth when more individuals are added by natality and immigration then lost the population shows negative growth when more individuals are lost by mortality and immigration then add it so population growth is equal to birth rate or birth plus immigration minus death and plus death plus immigration so what is birth rate it is the generally expressed as a number of birth per 1000 individuals of population per year and what is mortality or death rate it is expressed as a number of death per 1000 individuals of a population per year so a uh, birth plus immigration minus death plus emigration immigration means number of individuals coming into a, a specific population or we can say the immigration is the phenomenon of entry of certain individuals of same species into an area from outside but emigration is just opposite uh, opposite to it emigration is the phenomenon of departure of individuals of same species from an area to outside so immigration and birth is responsible for increase in population size and density while emigration and the death are responsible for decrease in the population size and density so this is with the, by this uh, uh, equation we can calculate population growth so there is one mathematical expression by which we can express population growth that is nt is equal to n0 plus b plus i minus d plus i sorry it is a it is a plus sorry it is right uh, b plus i minus d minus e so nt is equal to final population size n0 is equal to initial 
population size. We are calculating final population size. Then B is equal to natality rate or birth rate. B is equal to mortality rate or death rate. I is equal to immigration rate. And e is equal to emigration rate. So, when we, we have to calculate final population size, then we have to take sum of initial population size plus this. Uh, we have to add uh, birth rate plus uh, immigration then from it from it we will subtract mortality rate and emigration so it is a expression of population growth now population growth curve population growth can also be expressed by mathematical expression or curves which are called growth curves in growth curve the logarithm of total number of individuals in a particular population is plotted against time factor so this is a population size and this is a time so the interaction between biotic potential and the environmental resistance is represented by growth curves. So on the basis of uh, shape of growth curves, growth curves are of basically two types. First is sigmoid or S-shaped growth curve, which is also known as logistic growth curve. It was described by Verhulst in 1839 and therefore it is also known as Verhulst Pearl Logistic Growth Curve. And this type of population growth, the growth curve is found in yeast cells and it is formed of five phases. So here it is a sigmoid or S shaped growth curve. Here you can say you can see five phases leg phase, positive acceleration phase, then exponential or logarithmic phase, then negative acceleration phase, and the last is stationary phase. Here you can see there is a S shaped growth. The population size is stabilized with the time with minor fluctuation around its upper limit. So, first is a lake phase. In this phase, there is no or very little increase in population. And during this phase, individuals adapt themselves to the new environment. Then positive acceleration phase. Here the population increases slowly. Initially and at this phase growth curves remain low and almost horizontal. Then logarithmic or exponential phase. In this phase there is a rapid rise in a population size because of the availability of much food and requirements of life in plenty and there is also absence of competition so growth curves here rises sharply upward now next is negative acceleration phase here you can see the growth rate again slows down along with the increase in environmental resistance. At this phase, growth curve tend to bend right. What? Instead of continuing upward, it is moving or bending rightward. 
so it uh, it is due to the increase in the environmental resistance so there are some of or there are so many inhibitory environment factors like natural calamities like drought floods cloud bursts fires accidents landslides temperature fluctuation etc and uh, some other factors like non availability of food and shelter biotic factors like pathogens parasites and predators they all tend to restrict the biotic potential of an organism or kind of organism and they impose a limit on numerical increase so the actual increase is the balance between the biotic potential and the environmental resistance so because of the environmental resistance this uh, phase shows uh, very uh, very very less growth means at this phase growth curve you can see instead of continuing upward it is a bending right one then last is stationary phase in this phase growth rate becomes stable finally and why it occurs this is because mortality and the natality rates becomes equal to each other and here you can see there is a zero growth rate and this stage is achieved when the population reaches a carrying capacity of the area called upper asymptote a uh, a symptom so carrying capacity uh, uh, can be defined as the level beyond which no major increase can occur it is usually represented by capital k uh, the population stabilizes around the carrying capacity because the population shows zero growth rate when a population reaches the carrying capacity of its environment so it is the last phase of the s shaped growth curve now second growth curve is a j shaped growth curve or exponential or geometric growth model it can be considered as an incomplete form of sigmoid curve here it is a j shaped growth curve so uh, the uh, best example for describing this is a small population of reindeer which are experimentally reared in a natural environment with plenty of food but there is a absence of any predators it comprises two phases lag phase and logarithmic or exponential phase so lag phase it is same as that of the sigmoid shaped growth curve so initially there is a slow or no growth in population and it occurs because of a period of adaptation of animals to new environment then second phase is a exponential or logarithmic phase there is a rapid growth in a population and it continues till enough food is available so the population begins to grow rapidly at an exponential rate and during this phase the growth curve rises sharply upward after the population growth have occurred in an almost unrestricted manner for some time it leads to mass starvation and mortality due to sudden burst of environmental resistance and why it occur 
it occurs due to the decrease in the availability of food and space and thus it's, uh, this sudden increase in mortality or we can say the drastic reduction of population size is known as population crash uh, this type of growth curve can be seen uh, in organisms which have short life cycle of fast growth like uh, population of insects, algal blooms, winders and the lambing of tundra. So this is G-shaped growth curve. So in today's lecture first I describe what is population growth. Population growth is equal to birth plus immigration minus death plus immigration. Then I explained its expression n t is equal to n0 plus b plus i minus d minus e that is final population size is equal to initial population size plus birth rate plus immigration minus mortality rate minus emigration rate then uh, then I, I explained what is growth curve and on the basis of shape, there are two types of growth curve. That is a sigmoid or S-shaped growth curve and the J-shaped growth curve or exponential or geometric growth model. Sigmoid growth or sigmoid or S-shaped growth curve comprises of five phases and it is plotted against population size versus time. It comprises of five phases that is lag phase, positive acceleration phase, exponential phase, negative acceleration phase and the stationary phase so, and it is a S-shaped growth curve. Then J-shaped growth curve which comprises of two phases that is lag phase and exponential phase. Thank you.